Tully Ho there champs and welcome to the show. So I guess we better see how this XPS 15 the Cabby Lake model games. So I'll run through some benchmarks and then you're going to see my mad sick gaming skills and I'll game a little bit on GTA 5 and then you can hear the fans and we'll have a look at the temperatures afterwards. So anyway let's get on with it. Now first of all I get asked a lot does it have coil wine? No, it doesn't. mine doesn't have coil wine. I'll make a FAQ video. So yeah, just write a comment down there. It's right next to the like button and I will answer those questions in my FAQ. One of the questions I get asked a lot is why I didn't have a 1050 Ti or a 1060 in it? And I was a bit disappointed. I said I wished it had a 1050 Ti in it, but actually it's not possible to put a 1050 Ti in there. This has a 130 watt power supply. So basically everything has to fit in that 130 watt. It's just Designed for that thermal limit there and anything over 130 watts you're probably going to have to redesign it or just have it really hot and loud yeah that's the compromises you have with such a small form factor there so anyway if you look 45 watt cpu 50 watt gpu which is the 1050 that gives you 95 watts doesn't give you much to power the screen power the fans and all the rest of the computer like the ports and SSD and motherboard and so on and given that you're not going to get a hundred percent efficiency out of the power supply you might only get 90 percent at full load you really only have 120 watts so if you put a 1050 Ti in there which uses 70 watts it already uses 115 watts with just a CPU and GPU then there's not much left over for the rest of the system so it wasn't possible to actually put a 1050 ti in there so egg on my face i didn't do my research on that ends up here and a 1060 no hope 80 watt gpu and 45 watt cpu that's 125 watts that's probably about the maximum that this power supply can put out in the real world and then obviously you haven't got power for the screen and anything else and the fans would just have to be going flat stick all the time and it would be very hot probably throttle so there's no point having a 1060 in there 1050 ti in that 130 watt limit the 1050 is the best you can fit in this form factor now a lot of people are disappointed but i can tell you now this thing games okay it really games well and just for a laugh i thought i'd run crisis 3 4k 4k low settings i was getting 27 frames per second Four, that's 4k and yes it's low settings but i just thought i'd try that gta 5 normal settings 4k 51 frames per second 4k now this is normal settings so the settings are dialed down but still 51 frames at 4k that's pretty good now i've also mentioned that you can game civilization 4 at 4k over 50 frames per second no problem battlefield 1 you can play high settings 1080p 70 frames per second in my review i did say crisis 3 high settings was 86 frames per second now that was my highest score but i've done a lot more tests now and i've averaged them out and i would say 65 frames per second high settings crisis 3 and it depends where you are in the actual game csgo i benched it at about 146 frames per second but if you play csgo you'll know the frames go up and down widely you were able to get over 240 frames per second on csgo it just depends now another one i added in here is fallout 4 now because i'd done a gaming review on fallout 4 with the last model xps 15 i thought i'd try fallout 4 again and pretty much at high settings 1080p you pretty much reach into 60 frames per second cap there so 59 frames per second i was getting 1080p high settings and for reference on the last xps 15 you had to really have it on low settings 1080p on fallout 4 and even then you weren't getting the full 60 frames per second there so as you can see pretty much any title high settings 1080p 60 frames per second this xps 15 can do there are some games you may have to drop those settings down a bit say for example juice x mankind divided you're only getting 40 frames per second at high settings and that's a game that's really hard on the graphics card and system in general but that was pretty much the only game i tested where you couldn't get around 60 frames per second high settings 1080p and still 40 frames per second is very playable drop the settings down a little bit and you'll get your 60 frames there so let's go see my mad gaming skills and have a listen to the sound of it hello is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Probably your ears are hurting right now, but I have the microphone in my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down right on the keyboard of the XPS 15. Like. Like so. 
So that's so you can hear the fans kick in. I won't be talking, I'll be turning down the volume of the game. I'll be playing with my Xbox controller there. And this is a proper torture test because it is hot today in Melbourne. It's like 35 degrees outside now. In this room, it's nearly 30 degrees. I would usually have the air conditioner on. I'm trying to keep this room quiet so you can hear the fans. So anyway, let's crack on and get into it. 1080p high settings this is. We've got Fraps in the top left hand corner. So let's game and listen out for the fans. So as you can probably see, 1080p mixture of high and very high settings there they're just basically the defaults so anyway let's get on with it So as I said, I won't be talking much through this, just listen out for the fans, I might yell out when I hear them kicking in very hard, so. And as I said, remember, this is a torture test because it's like 30 degrees in this room, seriously, in your normal room, 22 degrees, it's not going to get this hot. Right, let's go. Let's see my mad gaming skills. started to turn on then, the fans that is. So 70 plus frames, 1080p, high settings. Whoa. Fans are starting to kick in now. It's like nearly 80 frames there. Woo! This is my favourite bit down here, whoa! Yeehaw! Yeah. Oh, so easy. So as you can see, it's not really slowing down at all, all. and the fans are not really that loud to be honest and remember the mic's right next to the computer so it's not really fair I bet it sounds worse on the microphone than it actually does in real life but they're not exactly quiet but tell me a gaming laptop that is quiet and this isn't really a gaming laptop but yeah you know what I mean Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 
to avoid from the cops. So that's about as loud as the fans really get and this is really hot this room and as you can see it doesn't slow down at all we're still pushing over 60 frames or well, what are we now 55 depending on where you are obviously So it's dropping under 60 a little bit, no, it's just popped over 60 again. See my mad skills? Got nearly up to 70 frames then. So. Okay, it looks like the cops have gone. See nearly 70 frames there. Whoa. So you can see it is dipping under 60 frames every now and then. Some 40 frames there. Be interesting to see when we look at afterburner if that's throttling or not. So we'll have a look. But remember, this room is extremely, extremely hot. It's like, well, it's like 30 degrees in this room. It's actually boiling. Which is, I can't wait to turn this off and put the air conditioning back on.
up, we'll leave it there, we'll have a look at afterburn to see what's happening. And we'll see how long it takes for the fans to see how long it takes for the fans to um, slow down again. What do we got here? GPU usage. Temperature. The highest temperature was 77. The GPU temperature. Okay, the memory, no, this is the clock speed. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any throttling at all. Seems to be a consistent line there of 1696 megahertz. And that's when I turned it off, obviously. The fans are just turned off now. Well, not turned off, they've really slowed down now. So it took what did it take, 30 seconds for the fans. To slow down again so it started off at 1700 megahertz and I think the lowest we got was 14 14 uh, da, 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 dip down for a second at 14 something but that just seems like a stutter and then just consistently 1500 1600 megahertz up to it's nearly 1700 and this is like at the end when I was been gaming for like 15 20 minutes you can see there 1696 megahertz and CPU what do we got temperatures of up to it's only in the low 70s there the temperatures for the CPU so no real throttling To say I'm pretty happy with that. Temperatures seem in check and and the fans are just ramped down really low now. And you have to remember this room is very hot so you're not going to get any worse conditions than this right here right now. And I'm just going to turn on the air conditioners now and Thanks for watching guys, it is what it is, you saw it with your own eyes, if you like this video give me a like, Look, I've got lots more tech content coming soon, especially regarding this XPS 15 here, and until next time guys, tally ho. It's me you're looking for, I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile You're all I ever wanted oh, That is so bad